back so we're back on the syndicate back on the big lake and we're here for overnighter it's about one o'clock now um i'm finished for christmas so i managed to get here a bit earlier so one o'clock and i'll be off probably about 10 in the morning get home with the, with the kids start the holiday season so happy days yeah so what we've done we've walked down from the uh south car park and we've um we've decided to settle in this swim called the perch bay 36 so yeah i haven't got anything sorted yet as you can see we're quite close to the path here. So there's going to be a bit of foot traffic knocking about. No doubt there'll be a few dogs charging about. Um, but hey ho, it is what it is. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get everything sorted in a minute. But first of all, get the rods out, get the waders on, get in there and uh, yeah, see what we can find. So yeah, I'll be back in touch in a bit when we, uh, when we know where the rods are. See you in a bit.
guys, all the gear sorted, everything's out, all the rods are sorted. Um, basically what I've done is I've got three rods, um, all pretty much tram lining um, to an area, not, not far out to be fair, not even quite middle of the lake. This is probably the narrowest part. There's like a little sort of point around this corner um, and that's probably the sort of narrowest point of the lake really. The reason I sort of targeted this is intercept anything coming through really. So yeah, what I've done is three on a spot, um, probably all within, not even a, not even a rod length really. Um, so they're all pretty close. And all I've done is then spawned out um, a little bit of bait, a little bit of crushed, crushed boilie um, over the top. Um, that's that's it. Pretty basic stuff. Um, just a bit of crushed. I've literally probably put out three spawns over three rods. So I'm not feeding them. I'm just I just want something in there that's going to stink in there. But you had a, you know, I'd be able to suss it out. So. Yeah, I've got three running rigs, all on uh, little white pop-ups, normal stuff. Um, so hopefully it'll bring me a, a bit of luck. It's going to get bloody cold tonight. It's it's now, I think it's five degrees at the moment. I'm going to get my top on in a minute. It's just starting to get cold. Um, but it's going to go down to I think minus one or two tonight. So it's not going to be, it's not ideal conditions, put it like that. <laughs> but again, we're off. Got to give it a bash, haven't you? So yeah, on that note, I think every, well, everything's sorted, all the gears in there I'm comfortable I've got all my layers I'm going to put some thermals on a bit later um, got my waterproof just in case it rains so can only mean one thing you guessed it beer of the week right guys so this week's beer of the week special mention goes to two guys who both suggested the same beer and that is Daniel Monaghan and Adam at Raw Carp in UK. Both messaged you, I think, for YouTube. And um, yeah, suggested this beer. Another one I haven't tried. I've tried this sort of thing before, but not that brand. So this week's beer a week is Krabby's Ginger Beer. So I thought it was a nice little winter warmer. So what does it say? So we've got 4%. Uh, da -da -da. Enjoy the curious, spicy, yet delicious, refreshing blend of real st steeped ginger and exotic spices, 19, uh, sorry, 1800s, Scottish pioneer John Crabby. Lovely jubbly, gluten free. So let's give it a bash, right. Okay, right, cheers guys. Mmm, yeah, I like it. That's quite sweet actually, nice. Yeah, you get it. Ginger kicks in quick. I do like that. I didn't think I was going to like it particularly, but it's quite sweet. It's not too, uh, yeah, not too sort of. Uh, there isn't really a nice, well, horrible aftertaste. It's nice. It's not um, overpowering. It's not too ginger. One more bash. Mmm. Yep. Happy days. Nice one, guys. Daniel, Adam, this week's beer week, Krabby's alcoholic ginger beer. Cheers. Right, guys, so, beer, ginger beer, classic, isn't it? Right, it is getting cold. You can probably see the old current bun's gone down. Um, cloud is clearing, so it's getting colder as we speak. Um, getting clear clear skies tonight I've just been visited by <laughs> funny enough as we, as we speak here he is my little mate I had this robin all all, all evening <laughs> he's even been sat on my bed um, but yeah I've just been visited by a bloody bream as well so that was uh, that was annoying so yeah the first bream so hopefully that's the only bream as well because I can't be dealing with that all night I can't be dealing with getting out and bloody minus two to unhook a bream so hopefully that's the only one and we just get carp from now on so uh yeah all right guys like i say we're losing the light it's clear skies it's gonna get cold i've got um i've got a nice pasta dish that i mixed up last night and uh yeah i'm gonna heat that up on the stove and get warm so right if anything happens guys carp wise i'll let you know if not i'll see you in the morning cheers
Well guys, so we've managed to get one. After that bream, we've uh, yeah, we managed to get a little uh, little common. Smallest carp I think I've caught from here so far. But, all welcome. Icicles, it is cold. And um, yeah, it's only a baby, you can see that. It's only a baby. Get that off that. Wash that off, I can't see what I'm doing here. Yeah, it's only a little bubba, but all welcome. Little confidence booster, new spot. First time I've fished the swim, and we managed to nick one, so yeah, happy days. We've got, um, it's probably about nine o'clock at night now. We've got all night, so you never know. Your big brother might be around the corner. So right, we'll get her back, and uh, yeah, hopefully get another one. If not, I'll see you in the morning. I'm not greedy. I'll probably see you in the morning. <laughs> Cheers. Right guys, good morning. And what a bloody cold night that was. Freezing, but rewarded with a couple of bream, which is uh, frustrating, but I've had two carp. So I've managed to get that one in the night and then this one first thing this morning. So it's been it's been in the retainer about 40 minutes or so. So I want to get him out now. I've just about got enough light. So let's dig him out and uh, show you, but he's an absolute little stunner. So yeah, well chuffed, absolutely chuffed. So right, let's dig him out, get the mat, some camera all sorted and uh, let's have a look at him. Hi right, guys, here she is. Little Perla. Knock off. Right, I'll show you this side. Here you agree, she's a beauty. Just your knees will tense up again. Ah, what a little stunner. Absolute little stunner, well chuffed. So cold last night. When I had that bream, I thought well, that would be it. Uh, sorry, when I had the car. And then, obviously, another bream. I thought, well, that's, that's me, I'm happy. To get this, absolutely. Yeah, well chuffed. Beautiful. I'll show you the other side. It's just a beautiful little fish. Oh, the best looking ones I've caught, I think. It's a stunner. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, well made up. Over the moon. Right, let's get her back. Merry Christmas. Morning guys, that is a lovely little mirror, isn't it? Beautiful little thing. So it's, uh, yeah, imagine that one's 20, 20 pound bigger. Oh, stunner. So right, I'm probably gonna leave it there, guys, and have a pack up, I think. It's about half nine now, um, but I've run out of gas, so I can't even have another cup of tea. So I'm gonna probably have a clear up now um, and head home, getting a warm, because it is blimmin' freezing, my hands are gone. So yeah, guys, thanks again for everyone who subscribed, really appreciate it. Um, all the beer of the week suggestions and all the nice comments of support through the blanks and there's been many a blank so um yeah i do appreciate all of that and i will always get back to everyone so uh yeah thanks again 
So anyone that didn't see, I posted the uh, competition winner on Instagram Live because I couldn't do it on YouTube. So the winner of that was Daniel Fall. So if you haven't seen the Instagram, Daniel, well done, mate. Um, basically get in touch on my email. So e give me an email, Nathan Stamp, ds at iCloud.com. So yeah, send me a send me a message on there, mate. And we'll sort out for next year when it warms up. We'll have a little social and yeah, come down and see what you think. So yeah, guys, like I say, thanks again. Have a lovely Christmas, Happy New Year, and I'll see you next time we're out. Cheers.